time we try to remind ourselves how has he been, how has he been able to do it he had always said after all the most daunting aspect of his revolution the most challenging part of it all is transforming the mindset dealing with the psychic of the gambian people you can understand the level of frustration sometimes yes he has been hiring and he has been firing but he had said it no it was not impersonal it was all for the welfare of this country mistakes might have been committed yes they are naturally part of the equation but as a people as a country we can forgive and forget we can understand that yes we have a common responsibility and a common destiny that this nation has to be built and it has to be built by gambians no other part no other people but gambians themselves we must rally behind the james development bandwagon after all politics is all about people their wishes their hopes and aspirations the leadership that fails to address that is a leadership without foresight Let me care about this john show why don't you allow the green news with this song jambe something yes of course there is a lot of fanfare and we will like uh, to capture some of the lyrics yes here Uh, Mr. Diva Al Haji Munduju, I think you've touched on uh, very important issues here, very important topics, leading all the way from July 1994, uh, when the, when his Excellency the President, the then Lieutenant Yaya AJJ Jame, took the reins of power in this country. Uh, but Mr. Diva, you have had the chance to interview the man many times. The recent one was today. I mean, what do you see in him when he's trying to address this kind of issue, especially when it comes to frustration, I mean, in the, in the political system, in, the, in, the, in, the, in government institutions, that high level of corruption, that high level of dishonesty. How do you, what, what do you see in him? Do you see in him that, that anguish, that pain to, you know, bring Gambians that level of high morality? Abdul, thank you very much. Anyway, I will not go into the details of the interview that has been conducted just today because it has not been aired yet. Um, I don't want to preempt anything, but certainly, yes, I have had the opportunity to interview the president several times in the past. And, uh, Not several times, many times. Yes, many, many, many times in the past. And of course, as you have rightly mentioned, the level of frustration in relation to the attitude of Gambian people had always been an issue. It had always been there. But the man himself had admitted on many, um, on many an occasion that in fact dealing with the mindset of the people is the most daunting aspect of his revolution. But that doesn't mean that progress has not been made on that front. Significant progress has been made on that front too. Abdul, if you could recall when he made, first made the call for Gambians to take up agriculture on a more serious note. The reaction was lukewarm. The response was grossly inadequate. And year in, year out, he has expressed certain levels of frustration. But the past three, four years had been different in that the momentum had started building up. Gambians began to respond en masse. And we had seen the results in terms of the bumper harvest that have been made over the years. Sustaining the agricultural sector, so to speak, is an important priority in sustaining development across the board. Because Without food security, there cannot be security of whatever sort. 
And therefore, developing this sector has been an utmost priority. This is why the president himself had to adopt a philosophy, a leadership by example philosophy, to spur Gambians, to entice Gambians, to inspire Gambians, to take up agriculture. This country is largely an agrarian society, and we have seen that 70% of the workforce is directly or indirectly employed by this sector. It accounts for 24 to 30% of our export earnings. Therefore, this is a significant sector by all accounts. And this is why the president is convinced that if we are not able to sustain the momentum that has been created over the past four years, as this has been witnessed in the bumper harvest year in, year out, we may not be able to sustain the development efforts across the other sectors of the economy. Well, oil has been discovered in this country on a commercial scale. But of course, the exploitation of the resource is yet to begin. We can understand why. Discovering oil is one thing. Exploiting it to the benefit of your people is quite another. That means if you don't have the technology, if you don't have the resources to exploit these resources, you suddenly need to go into agreement with companies that have the resources, that have the technology to exploit. But of course, that's not the end of the story. What sort of agreements do you go into with them? Well, that is the content on here. And I think it best explains why for after seven years of announcing the discovery of oil in this country and other resources, mineral and natural resources, exploitation is yet to begin. The terms and conditions that have been offered by the multilaterals have favored the Gambian people. And uh, the president is one person who certainly will not accept such deals. He would prefer the resources to remain under the ground, waiting for the right time, waiting for the right conditions of exploitation. Yes, today, we can be certain that this country is blessed with mineral and natural resources. And we can be certain that they are within the bounds of the territorial limits of this country. And as such, they are secure. When the right time comes, when the right circumstances come, certainly these resources will be exploited. Alaji Modu, this is the situation. This is where we are as Jamme enters the greater Banyul area on the final leg of his 2011 dialogue with the people tour, coming four or five months ahead of the presidential election 2011. Alaji Morujuf, this is the situation as it is. Well, a very encouraging situation for that matter. Um, right now we are still at uh, Farato, still in the West Coast region. Keba, don't forget, we are here to enter the Kandifing municipality and Banjol. But anyway, the day is young. Banjol is in the West Coast, Farato is in the West Coast. We are in the West Coast, 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 we are in the West Coast. Bering kalaji la nang kaji nang fo kumbola meng mano balajang West Coast danta waleto bidun kada ti Abu Kola kadum jele mu KMC te mimba kerenting karo silo karo fulu bela yaya be kumala yaya be kumala bidun kafanya mendrong al nan noma aman doko kundo chika sire keba keba ro kero ngi be noma la mina. Barakapodong kundo chikalin no mamanjara wala. Ngaji ke 